Welcome back to Ringwoods with the Rude Man, and we're on Farming Simulator 2015, and yesterday Fallout New Vegas came out, well actually the night before, um, and I thought I had better take a break from playing uh, and make a couple of videos of Farming Simulator. I have been playing for about 24 hours. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, we're going to get with it today. I got a few things that I was catching up on from the last bit, uh, episode. And I'm going to change out some equipment probably today. I got a couple hundred thousand dollars, but let's see what we were doing. Let's get this guy started up here. And we'll continue with this, picking up this grass. And I think we're done with everything else. This is This looks like the last little bit of grass so we'll finish this up take a look at some of our equipment I'm changing equipment out uh, I've got some equipment that I'm that I'm liking better than some equipment that I used to use so let's have this guy continue drive now He's not going to do it. All right, well, let's do it manual law then. Going to get rid of this grass. And I'm actually looking at, I've got a new uh, mod that I'm using for an air seeder. Now, you know the monster I used to use, and it's done a good job. But I've always complained that when you get on the uh, tarmac or, or asphalt or whatever you want to call the roads, um, it digs in and it jumps and it hops and it skips and you know it's it's a pretty good piece of equipment. But uh, but I found something that I kind of enjoy a little bit better. I'll show it to you here in a minute. We're gonna get rid of this grass first so we can say this is done. Let's just run right in here and dump the grass. Yeah, it looks like it's about what six, uh, almost seven o'clock in in game. So let me see. What are we doing on crops? Did we get everything ready to uh, to go into the next harvest? It's all growing. I think it's all fertilized. So, yeah, I think we're all set. We're just waiting for midnight the next morning. Tomorrow we'll do a new a new harvest. Oh, man, wait till you see the combines I got. You're not going to like them. Some of you will. Some of you won't. I'm going to show them to you. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them on this map, but I'm going to show you one. And then uh, if you watch any of my other maps, some of the big maps that... Uh, that are just huge, 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 and take you three days to harvest one field. I've got, I've got a mod that you won't believe. Alrighty, let's shut this guy down, and let me take a look at some equipment. That's not it. That's not it. This is it. All right. If we go to mods, you may have seen these. I don't know. Probably not. I haven't uh, uploaded all my videos. I get too many videos, and I can't remember which ones come out when. But uh, I've already started using this uh, piece of equipment in another uh, on another map. Now that I think about it, I don't think it's been published yet, so you, so you haven't seen it. But we have this John Deere air seeder here. And the one of the reasons I like it is just because it's got it's kind of gadgety in in a way. All right, so we have two versions of it to start with. The first one is, is now, before you get confused, I did show you a version of this air seeder in a different video. I don't remember which one, but what it was, it was the same piece of equipment, but it was all one piece. But I like this one a little bit better, I think. Again, we have a, a 22 meter and we have a 14 meter. So you have your choice of these of these two um, cedars. Now these over here are the one that I had before, where it's all one piece. These are the ones I talked about. 
that were all one piece, and one of them does fertilizer, and one of them does not. And but these four, well, there's two actually because there's a 22 foot and a 14 foot, 22 foot and a 14 foot. One does uh, uh, fertilizer, and one does not. One does fertilizer, one does not. This one also cultivates, so you don't have to cultivate field when you're working it. But like I say. I kind of am leaning more towards these in my liking. So once you get the um, actual cedar, then you have to go to the spray rigs and get your spray rig, your air cart. Now this is the 22, which is the regular one, and this is the smaller one, the 14 uh, meter. So you have to have all of these uh, put together to put the piece of equipment to work. So, let's see here. I'm going to jump in my pick em up truck. Actually, probably not the pickup truck. Let me let me get a tractor. Do I have a case? There we go. Let's grab this guy. And I'm going to swap up those horses for this. Now I don't need it because I've already seeded for this uh, harvest, but I'm going to probably get this done today. Get rid of some of the equipment I have. And as you see, They are two different pieces and you have to hook them together. Now, the downside on this is this piece of equipment does not cultivate. So I have to actually cultivate my fields myself uh, before I can seed. And that's okay. That's, that's not a problem. So, for cultivators though, um, I don't want to use this 50, 50 meter one, but I'll probably use this 14, or I do have, I think, a 25 or so uh, foot one that I might use. This one's completely unrealistic. Uh, I mean, completely. But on those uh, fields that I'm playing that have absolutely outrageously large fields, you almost have to use something like that or you'll be at it all day. So, but let me show you what I mean by completely unrealistic let's get out of the tractor and take a look at that monster it's 50 meters look at that and it weighs absolutely nothing so if you're driving the tractor pulling that thing up like that and you go around a corner it doesn't even move and there's no collision on any of that so yeah it's kind of not realistic but so be it all right let me get rid of this Let's see here. We're going to get rid of what we have. I'm going to get rid of those for now because I just rented them. And uh, since I haven't used them, I get my rental stuff back. I don't owe anything. Okay. And then let's see. I want to get rid of that booger. And then, let me go back to the garage and let's see here. I'm going to sell these. And then, what else do I have? I'm not going to need that, so I can get rid of those, which means I might be able to get rid of some tractors, because I was using tractors to pull that. Um, going to get rid of that, I think, because I've got a bigger one, although I don't know if I need it, but we'll see.
I'll keep it for now. Keep it for now. All right, let's uh, let's see what else we need to do. It's getting dark. All that kind of good stuff. So at this point, I think maybe. Oh, you know what? You know what I need to do is uh, let me back to here and do and do animals. Animals. Um, fattened. Fattened chickens. How many do I have? I own one fattened chicken. So I need to buy some more of those. So let's let's buy some more of those. We make pretty good money on the chickens. We'll just buy a, a few of those. They're thirty-five bucks a piece. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get five hundred of them. We're gonna have big, big chickens. All right, one more. There we go, five hundred of those. And let's see, what else do we have? Do we have? Do we have? Do we have? Um, fattening cows, uh, feeding cows. We don't have any, we don't have any beef cows, we don't have any pigs, but we don't really have things to feed them though either, do we? Because we don't have, do we have silage? Really, do we? I don't remember. Let's see what we have. Okay, we do have pig forage, although it's not showing. Um... All right, maybe there's no way to tell from here. Jump out of here. Bear with me, bear with me. I've got something here, what is this? I do have a little a little tiny bit of silage. So, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy some animals and we'll start working on animals. So what should we get? A little bit of everything? We'll start out small. Not placeables. What am I doing? Where's my animal? Oh, I'm in mods. Silly me. Tricks are for kids. Okay, so yeah, let's buy some fattening cows. Um, I'm going to get... I think I'll just start out with 50 to start with. Whoops. Lost my cue. Oh, shoot. Went too many. And then we'll get some beef cows. I don't know what the hell the difference is. What's the difference between beef cows and fattening cows? I did it again. Let's buy some piggies. Gets to a point where it goes really, really fast. And I'm not watching what I do and get too many, so. All right, now let's see. Do we have milk cows? We've got regular chickens, right? And we've got sheep. We only have 86 sheep. Are you kidding? Well, let's buy a few of those. Uh-oh, went too far. Only wanted a couple hundred. Do we have cows? We have no cows. We're going to buy some cows. Get some milk going. And that's pretty much going to take our money, isn't it? Which means I'm going to have to rent equipment. 88 cows. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine. 100. That's all I can afford. Now, how much do I have in fruit? Do I have any fruit? I don't, I don't have any fruit. I got a little bit of barley. That's about it. So we need to do a harvest. Make some money. 
So, that being said, I'm outside of my rig here. Let me let me do this. I'm going to run, 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 run over here. I need to remember the next time I uh, seed that I use some of the seeds that I made. And... Let's run up into tomorrow morning. I just made $2,200 on what I do not know. Um, so let's see, where are we in? So nothing's ready to harvest. So we're gonna do that again. Uh oh, great demand at biomass heating plant for straw. Now we do have quite a bit of straw. I don't know if I want to sell it though. All right. It must be that must be my um, my lettuce probably, which reminds me. Let's go take a look at that. Which farm are we on here? This one is. Uh, Let's go take a look. Boy, something's really selling. And that's why I kept the barley, so I can keep this thing running. So yeah, this thing uh, probably full. It's probably full or close to it because it doesn't look like it's running. So let's run over and see what we have for supplies in here. Okay, well the generator's running, so. Generators running, so the the thing's still working. Let's go and see what we've got for seed. Oh, we still have seed. It's still running. Okay, we have 44% uh, seed, diesel, and fertilizer, and water. So it's still doing just fine. It's working. So let's grab. What do we have in equipment though? Because I think, I think I sold the combines. Let's go to mods. Well, actually, let's go to our garage. See, I don't think I have combines. I was using those white ones, if you remember, and I think I sold them. So, And I don't have any money to buy new, so I'm going to have to rent. And uh, so let's do that. Let's go back. And we're going to go to here. Now, we've got these new things, but they're pretty small. Uh, capacity is only 3,000. Oh, su su suitable for hard stream. What the hell does that mean? Okay, so I've got these, but I don't know if I want to use them. Because these things are modded like you wouldn't believe. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know if I actually want to use those on this particular map. So what am I going to use? Those are the ones I was using because of the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful things I do. Uh, I'll tell you why I, I'm not going to use these on this map. These things here, they have they have a uh, a bin that's like 10 times bigger than any bin that would be on a piece of equipment this size. They also, uh, you get a, you get a um, header for them. And I'll show you the header. 
It's right there. This header goes with them. Now, it doesn't tell you how big this header is. I'm uh, guessing it's about 14 meters. But in actuality, the combine does, uh, it harvests about three times the length of this at one time. So when you're driving through a field, you're harvesting like, uh, gosh, I don't know, 40 meters, uh, 30 meters. You're harvesting a tremendous size. Even though the header's only 14 meters, you're actually harvesting, you know, like 30 meters at a, at a swath. Not only that, this combine goes about 100 miles an hour speed. So you're driving through the field at like, well, it doesn't harvest it that, that fast, but you're driving about 80 miles an hour through the field doing a swath of about 30 meters you can do a tremendous sized field in a matter of minutes. So I'm not going to use that one. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is just rent the vanilla ones for now. That's what I think I'm going to do. Let's get the ones we have been using, which is that guy. We'll rent a couple of those. Now I made this mistake the other day. I went over here. And I rented that one, but when I popped back in and rent the second one, it put me on this page and I grabbed that one. So I don't want to do that again. I want to make sure I get the big one and the uh, 1090. So we're going to rent that. And then let's rent another one. Uh oh. Back. See, I almost did it again. I want to rent that one. Okay, we'll start with three and see how we go with that. Let me go back and get some headers. I want the big header, the big one. I'm gonna rent that. And that. I wish there was a way to rent more than one instead of having to go back and forth and doing this. There, that one. All right, head to the shop. Oh, he's in the way. Move it. All right, let's grab one of these boogers. Grab this guy. Where's all the... Okay, did I not rent the headers? Or... That's odd. Unless... Unless... The lot was full and it wouldn't let me rent anymore. Till I empty the lot. I've had that happen before, too. Could be the case. So I'll get rid of one and then find out how many I actually have. And we might as well have this guy starting on this field right here in front of us. So I'll just kind of pull him out here. And we'll go back to the shop, see how many we actually have. Went the wrong way. Had a 50 50 chance. I chose the wrong way. Okay, there. Yeah, we only have one. Okay, so let's go back to the shop and we're going to go to headers and we're going to rent that one. And then let's try that again. That one. Get out of here. Get out of town, old Dan Tucker. Beautiful morning. Nice and brisk. Grab this guy.
All right, see if I can get out of here without tearing the place apart. Yeah, that's kind of what I was worried about. I think I can get around. And what I think I'll do is go ahead and stage each one of these before I get them started. Let's run this guy over to field uh, 16, I believe it is. Let's just run through this way. As soon as we get these guys started, then I need to work on getting some feed out to the animals. I don't have any mixed rations, so I'm going to have to work on that. For the pigs, I do have pig silage that I've made, so the pigs are going to eat well. Okay, so I've got, I'm going to have one on 15, one on 16 and one on um, whatever that one was over there. 17, I believe it is. 17, yes it is. Okay, and let's get this guy going. And we're off like a herd of turtles. That's a big field right there at Day Wood. Take a wide turn here. Yeah, I tell you, I jumped in one of those combines that do a hundred some miles an hour on a different map. I left the shop, got out on the road. I put the the uh, I put the gas pedal down to the floor. That thing was just flying. If it had wings on it, it would have taken off. I don't remember what I seeded. What's that? I don't remember. Bad on me. Eh, it's not my fault. I have too many maps going. I can't remember what I've seeded any, on any of them. Thing of it is, I don't play them all, each one every day. You know, it might have, it, it's actually been because when I when I sit down and did uh, Ringwoods last time, I did about two or three episodes all at once. So I actually played for about you know two three hours, and um, and then then I didn't play for a week on that on this particular map. So. By the time I come back, you know, a week or so later, I can't remember what it was I had done. Alrighty, let's uh, open this thing. Whoop, not that. I have to go to the uh, combine, open that up. I don't know if it makes a difference where I start. What is this? What what am I uh What's the crop here? Let's take a look. We're on growth and we're on field 17. We have soybeans. Now this is different than soybeans I've seen in other maps. Okay, so let's um da dum da dum da dum we're going to do auto wash and go to town. Soybeans. All right, let's do this guy. We're going to do that. And let's open him up. Get around this tree or series of trees. this up. Oh, wait a minute. Is that corn? Uh-oh. 
trouble. That's corn. I can't do this one. Okay, well, I can, but I can't do it with this. So, um, let's see. Let's run uh, to 11, which is... What is 11? Oats? Let's go do 11. I'll go ahead and hook it up. Pull the wheels up. And we'll run over there. Because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the corn for sale. I'm gonna do it and make a silage out of it. So I'm gonna do it with chaff, so I need another piece of equipment. Or do it as chaff. Oh shoot. Whoa, that was close. All right now, do I go up and down or sideways? Um, I have trees to contend with on this side, on, on the uh, south side. Um, what about the east side? Are there trees on the east side? No, oh, there's trees here. Wow, I can't get through there. Maybe I can if I go. All right, so there's trees. Oh, boy. Have I got enough room to turn around here? I think I do, so I'm gonna go in this direction. I'll go uh, east to west instead of north to south. That's okay. I think that's how I seeded it. So let's go do that. And we're getting our oats. Oh, we better make sure. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Yeah, is it throwing windrow out? Oh, dang it. Stop it. I think it is. Well, that's a weird looking windrow. Let me check the other guys and see what they're doing. Soybeans don't have a windrow, do they? All right, let's get this guy going. Um, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Drop that. Open that. Watch out, lamp post. Ooh, I missed it. No, I didn't. I <laughs> hit the lamppost. Owie. Oh well, remember, it's rented equipment. Okay, now, what do I do on this... I think I have to do the same thing. I, I think I need to go um, east to west instead of north to south. And what the hell is this? Um, 15 is canola? So I'm not gonna get a lot of windrow. Is this canola? I guess we're gonna find out for real soon. Okay, we need to go the other way. It is canola. Very good. All right, so I need to get some trucks and trailers. And I'm debating... Um, let me go to the garage and see what I have in equipment. All right, so I've got, how many of those? Two? Get two of those. All right, I don't have any equipment, so I'm gonna have to rent. 
So that being said, let us let us do mods. We're gonna do. Let's grab a Superman. And then we're going to grab some trailers. We're going to grab one of those. And we're going to grab one of those. Then we need a dolly. Grab that. Alright, and then we're at the shop. So let's get out of this rig. Okay, we're going to be staging this guy. And let's see, we need to do... We need to get this guy back out of the way. Grab the dolly. Okay, what's the deal? Can I not grab the dolly with this? I guess not. Alright, fine. Where's that tractor at? More than one way to skin a cat or to move a dolly. our truck pain in the butt to get hooked up but once you get them hooked up everything's wonderful so what we need to do is hook up this trailer and then We can line this thing up.
There we go. We're all hooked up. Cool. And let's go to town. Actually, we're not going to town. Oh, that was close. Now this truck goes really, really fast too. Once you get it wound up, it flies. So we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna put him between... Oh shoot, you know what? Wasn't thinking about that either. All right, we're gonna set him between these two fields here. And uh, leave him for now, but we need to get some overloaders. So let's grab a couple of these. Let's see, we're gonna need probably three of these. And then we're going to need three tractors. And we've got one here. So let's jump in him. And get him going with one of these guys. our combine. Um, where is our combine? Well, that's odd. Oh, it goes in a circle. Shoot, what am I thinking? I forget. I thought he was going back and forth. Uh, yeah, we'll find it. I just like driving through the field anyway. It's a lot of fun. If you look, oh, it goes through the doesn't go through the tractor. I thought I felt something tickling my feet. All right, we'll find it. It's here. He made it quite a ways around, didn't he? Alrighty, let's get this guy working here. And then let's go grab another tractor. Well, we got him, but let's see what else we've got. We got this guy. Let's get this guy going. Well, I was gonna set him up on a course, but by the time I do that, I might be able to drive there. So we'll just drive there. We have the technology. Thank God you don't need a driver's license to drive farm equipment. There you go. And then I think I've got one of the JCBs on the main farm we can use. So we just grab him. He's pretty close. Come in the back side here. Let's head to, let's see, we'll do the, um, this one here. Now I've got three different crops here, I think. 
So I have soybeans. And then, what else did I have? Oats. This is oats. So I'm going to have to get another truck and trailer for this to work. So let's grab, I'm pretty sure I have, yeah, here's a JCB, we'll use him. And then, and then, what did we have growing, growing? Okay, so we had over here, let's see, we had oats up here, we got soybeans here, and what was 15? Canola, canola, right, okay. So we got three different kinds of crops. The one truck has two trailers. Overshot my welcome. going to head to 17 is it now I stopped the combines so I'm gonna have to restart them JCBs, they really go, don't they? So I'm only going to have one field that has chaff on it or straw. That's the oat field. Alrighty, so let's see. We're going to um, let me find my combines. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put these in a category. Let's put this one in three. Wow. All right, and then. Let's put... This guy... In two... In two... In two... And then we need to figure out which of these guys... Are in three... Whoa! Didn't mean to do that... Put him back up there... Okay, let's get out of this. And we're gonna do... Okay, he's the only one in three. Oh, I had him in four. What the hell is four? All right, never mind. I hit cruise control is what I did. So let's now get these overloaders. I'm kind of running out of time here. Um, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do since I've got these guys uh, stopped the combines and things. It'd be a good place to stop the episode. Uh, kind of running out of time here. And then when we get started, we need to set up courses for these overloaders and all that kind of good stuff. And I may have, I had, I'm pretty sure, a mod for um, an overloader that had a little bit more capacity than the generic uh, vanilla ones. And I couldn't find it. So um, anyway, I'll have to look for that, see if I can find it someplace. In the meantime, hope you had fun, and I'll see you on the farm in the next episode. Happy farming!